Hello guys, Dev Channel here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the XML serialization with XML serializer and deserializer. Uh, I'll give you a little preview. We use the deserializer to read an XML doc command and share the content in a data grid view. After that, we're going to manipulate the data and save it back to an XML file with the XML serializer. For this purpose, we're going to create a new project. Um, which is from the top Windows file application and we're using the .NET framework 4.5. So call it demo XML. In our form, we are using the data review and we're docking in the parent container. And for our actions, we're gonna use the menu strip. So let's call it data and on there we got load or let's call it open open file and we'll make a save as all right i have prepared a person person's xml file which lays on the desktop and it stores one two three four five six persons with a uh, first name and last name so what we have to do is to create the person model so let's add a new element and call it person. All right, look back and it's called person. So let's say person.cs. We have to make this public to make it available. And we got two properties which are also public uh, public string first name, etc. Et et and public string last name with get. And set. That is basically everything we need. We go back in our program, and what we do now is we open the XML file and uh, deserialize it. So for this purpose, we're going to create an instance of an open file dialog. Dialog, new file dialog, and we are. Show the dialog and compare it to the dialog result. If the user press OK, we get in our action. We get our path, which is stored in the open file dialog file name. And now we're going to create an instance of our XML. XML serializer. For this, we have to use uh, serialization and serializer, new XML serializer. And now we're gonna uh, have to set our type. So we say type of, and we are having a list of our person. That is our XML serializer. That means we're gonna serialize type of list and person. Now, to read our file, we have to create a stream reader. Call it reader, and we have to use system.io for this purpose. Read a new stream reader, and it uses the path. And now, uh, we are going to deserialize. So we use the serializer, deserialize, and this is the reader reader is our stream. Now we should get our input and if everything works fine our data review data source must be our input. So if we hit run and we're gonna create open file we are navigating to our desktop we we'll close the file and we are going to use the person as you see one, two, three, four, five, six persons are in our list. And if we compare this list with our person's XML, we see they are basically the same, of course. And I have forgotten one important thing. If you're using the reader, you should close it because otherwise the file is locked as long as the program runs. And 
uh, we're gonna run as uh, second function to save file if we manipulate something. So we're using as for us to save file dialog to only fire the the logic if the user really wants to, to save something. So file dialog show dialog dialog result. Okay, that's basically the same as in our open dialog, and we are setting the path is our file dialog file name. Really nice, we can copy these lines. And we need now a stream writer because we are writing content to our hard disk. And now we are saying serializer serialize and we use our stream and an object which is our serialize and in this case it is a data grid view data source and after that we are closing the writer so now let's test it see what happened oh we got an error because we are i forgot the path for our stream writer all right we're here again we say open file use our persons and we have seen our person loaded so now we are saying yeah the first name is changed to Arnold and let's say we are changing this to March Simpson now we want to save this file to our desktop and call it person new dot XML now we can uh, open the previous to see the changes using chase and humor and now we're opening our person new and we're seeing March and honor we can check this also if we're going to open the person new XML file and now we're seeing the change content honored and March Simpson so that is basically everything you need for XML serialization uh, you have to define the type and that is the magic behind it, yeah? You can also define attributes and something like that. But the simplest way is to define a type with a model, with a class, and read it or write it to the hard disk or memory stream or anything like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any uh, support of you is very much appreciated. Uh, hit like, uh, subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any further wishes for future videos, please let me know it. Thanks you and bye.